Hello, fellow homo sapiens. This is David Seymour. I'm your host for Lifers. And uh, today we're going to continue our uh, taxonomy series where I started with bears. Uh, today we are going to do crocodilians. Crocodiles, alligators, caimans, and gharials. And uh, before I get into that, I want to thank everybody for subscribing. I'm up to 271 subscribers. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, thank you everyone for supporting me. Um, and if you're new to the show, uh, please consider subscribing and help support me in my growth. And hopefully I, and I'll continue to start making better and more entertaining videos. Um, so let's get into it. So crocodilians are, uh, eukaryotes. They are in the kingdom Animalia. They're animals. They are chordates and the phylum Chordata. They are vertebrates in the subphylum Vertebrata. They are reptiles in the class Reptilia. Reptilia. They are crocodilians in the order Crocodilia. Now from here, I'll, I'll go through each family and break down um, them into their species and subspecies. So going from here, the first family is Alligatoridae, which is the alligators and caimans. Next we have the Alligor Alligatoroidae, which is an extinct superfamily of crocodilians. <laughs> then we have crocodiles, which are in the fam family Crocodilidae. And finally, we have the family of gharials and the family Gavialidae. Starting with Alligators and caimans, and the family Alligatoridae. We'll go into the genus Alligators, and the genus Alligator. And there are only two species of alligators: the, uh, the American alligator, Alligator Mississippiensis, and the Chinese alligator. Alligator sinensis. The next genus will be caiman, typical caimans in the genus caiman, which includes the spectacled caiman, caiman crocodilus, and that is broken into four subspecies the Rio epiporus caiman. Cayman Crocodilus apaporiensis, the no no common name Cayman Crocodilus chiapasius. Next we have Cayman Crocodilus crocodilus, and finally we have the brown Cayman. Cayman Crocodilus fuscus. Now moving down to the broad snouted Cayman. Cayman let, Leterostris is then broken down into two subspecies. The dwarf broad snouted Cayman, Cayman Leterostris uh, chacoensis. And the nominate Cayman Laterostris Laterostris. Then we move on to the Yakari Cayman, Cayman Yakari, which is then divided into two subspecies Cayman Yakari Medemi and Cayman Yakari 
Yeah, carry. Then nominate. Now, moving out of the typical caimans, we move down to genus Melanosuchus, which includes the black caiman, Melanosuchus niger, which has no subspecies. Then we move on to the dwarf caimans in the genus Paleosuchus. which includes the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman, Paleosuchus palpebrosus, no subspecies, and the Schneider's Dwarf Cayman, Paleosuchus trigonatus, and there are no known subspecies. And that does it for alligators and caimans. Moving on to the crocodiles in the family Crocodilidae, we have the typical crocodiles in the genus Crocodilus. The first species is the American crocodile, no subspecies. Then we have the lacustrine crocodile, which is extinct, Crocodilus anthropophagus. And I believe this is, this went extinct a long time ago. It was not due to humans. It's like one and a half million years ago. Then we have the Orino Orinoco crocodile, Crocodilus intermedius, no subspecies. Then we have the freshwater crocodile, Freshies, Crocodilus johnsoni. Then the Philippine crocodile. Crocodilus mindorensis. We then have the Morilets crocodile, Crocodilus moriletti. Then we have the Nile Croc, which I know has several subspecies. The Nile Crocodile, Crocodilus niloticus. The East African Crocodile, Crocodilus niloticus africanus. The no common name, Crocodilus niloticus champsis. The Southern African Crocodile, Crocodilus niloticus cowai, then we have the Malagasy Crocodile, Crocodilus niloticus madagascarensis, The North African crocodile, Crocodilus niloticus niloticus, the nominate. And finally, the Kenyan crocodile, Crocodilus niloticus paukiscutatus. <laughs> I probably murdered that one. <laughs> All right. Moving on from Nile crocodiles, we then have the New Guinea crocodile, Crocodilus. Nova Guinea, Nova Guinea, then we have the Mugger Crocodile, which I know is critically end uh, de endangered, Crocodilus palustris, next we have the Saltwater Crocodile, Crocodilus porosus, the salty. Then we have the Cuban crocodile, Crocodilus 
Crocodilus rhombifer, the Cuban croc. I really hope I get a chance to see one of them in my lifetime. Then we have the Siamese crocodile. Crocodilus siamensis. Another critically endangered animal. It's horrible. Then we have the West African crocodile. Crocodilus sucus. Moving on from typical crocodiles to the genus Mesostops. We have the West African slender snouted crocodile. Mesostops catafractus. And then we have the Central African slender snouted crocodile. Mesostops leptorhynchus. Moving away from that genus, we have the genus Osteolamus, which includes the dwarf crocodile, Osteolamus tetraspis, and that is divided into two subspecies. Osteolimus tetraspis osborni and the nominate Osteolimus tetraspis tetraspis. Moving away from that genus, we have the final genus in crocodiles, Thomas Doma which includes the false gharial, Thomastoma schlegeli, schlegeli, yeah, Thomastoma schlegeli, which is endangered globally. Moving away from crocodiles, we have the gharials in the family Gavialidae in the genus Gavialis, which includes the Gariel, the Gavialis gangeticus, and that does it for crocodilians. So as you can see, I have a lot of crocodilians to find worldwide. And I'm hoping that at some point in my lifetime, I can find most of these. That does it for this episode. Uh, thank you for all your support. And if you haven't subscribed already, uh, consider subscribing. Um, hopefully at some point in my life, I'll be able to find some of these crocodilian species. Um, I probably won't find all of them. There's not enough time in a lifetime. Um, so yeah, uh, see you on episode 25 of Lifers, the official episode. See you next time. What's on your list?